Hey guys, welcome back for another brew day. We're in the garage. Um, you may be able to hear the rain on the roof. Um, so yeah, it's a miserable day outside. So it's a perfect opportunity to uh, brew up a beer. So for about the last week or so, I've been planning to brew, but I've been sort of chopping and changing my mind about what to brew. And then uh, last weekend, I grabbed a can of the Fuller's London Porter uh, from the supermarket, which you guys are probably familiar with. And I thought it just brought back memories of how good that beer is. So luckily, I was going through my books, and in this one here, I found a Fuller's London Porter recipe, which um, I pretty much used as the base for my recipe. Um, if you're not familiar with this book, um, and maybe you're looking for another recipe book, I can highly recommend it. Nice thick book packed with uh, nothing but recipes. Um, even if you don't pick a, um, a recipe from here directly, it definitely gives you a lot of inspiration. It's got photos of the different beers. Um, so yeah, highly recommend it. It's probably one of the main books I go to. So anyway, uh, yeah, they had the London, Fuller's London Porter recipe in there. So I've tried to stick pretty close to it and I've done some checking on Google. And this seems to be um, a pretty accurate um, recipe and I believe this may even have come from Fuller's itself. So I wanted to stay fairly close to it. So um, I'm currently mashing behind me. Um, so while that's mashing, I thought we'd do a quick intro to the video. So yeah, the ingredients are uh, ale malt, which base base part of the of the grain bill, seventy two percent, and then probably next up and probably one of the most important um, parts of the Fuller's London Porter recipe is the brown malt. So that's thirteen uh, percent. I went for it did actually say a. Uh, I think it was a slightly darker crystal than what I've used so I've gone for a crystal 40 or a medium crystal um, was tossing up between that and the dark darker crystal um, but yeah went went for the medium crystal we'll see we'll see how that goes at the end and then I've gone with a um, chocolate a light chocolate six and a half percent which is works out about 400 L um, and then using Fuggles all the way through to get to around 30 IBUs. Um, sort of around 30, in the recipe book, I think it says 33 SRM for the color. Mine's going to end up about 37. Uh, and I'm trying to go for the 5.4% ABV, which the, uh, the beer, the commercial version comes out at. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm mashing at 67 degrees behind me. I um, might just swing the camera around briefly. Yes, yeah, so I'm doing a 60 minute mash at 67 degrees. Looks like it's holding the temperature pretty well. Um, has been freezing cold here. We've got down to sort of about three degrees Celsius um, the last few days, but, but with the rain, it's a little bit warmer today. So that's helping to keep that temp. So yeah, we'll finish the um, the mash off and then I'll just do my usual couple of clips of the um, other steps and then we'll come back at the end with the old hydro sample and we'll do a little bit of a wrap up. Cheers guys. Okay, so the mash is finished and as you can see I've pulled the grain bag out and I've just sparged with some about 75, 76 degrees Celsius water just to get my pre-boil volume. So while we're coming up to the boil, we'll just let that bag, grain bag there um, drain out. Um, also, I just want to do a quick uh, shout out to Hauraki Home Brew. I've seen a few videos um, recently of people talking about um, how important it is to support your local home brew shop, especially those ones that are, you know, your bricks and mortar home brew shops where you can actually go in and talk to the owners and um, Look at what they have to offer. So yeah, really important. Um, Hauraki Home Brew's been around a long time, a lot longer than I've been brewing, which I've been brewing, what, just over 10, 10 maybe 11 years. 
So yeah, they've been around a long time. Uh, Tiffany and Jason, I was really helpful. Um, yeah, so you know, support support your local home brew shop. Um, I'll put a link to Hauraki Home Brews website below. Uh, if you live in New Zealand, you know they'll send your order anywhere in New Zealand. So uh, yeah go check them out and if you live locally um, in Auckland um, yeah pay them a visit so anyway we will carry on with this uh, draining of the bag and we'll be back okay so the boil is underway it smells absolutely fantastic I'd better keep an eye on this so it doesn't boil over while I'm holding the, the phone here um, so we'll come back uh, so it's only going to be a 30 minute boil because of Basically, that's down to the size of my uh, the urn I'm using here, but I found that hasn't been a problem. So we'll come back um, at the next step. But yeah, smelling great. Okay, so we're 12 minutes out from the end of the boil. Um, I just chucked in the Wurflock tablet and turned my back. And you can see the mess. So anyway, let's chuck the uh, fuggles in. back shortly okay so we've uh, yeah cleaned up the mess so yeah just a, a reminder not to turn your back uh, on the boiler especially when you add in a whirf lock that does um, create like a lot of foam on top and you, as you saw you can get a bit of a boil over and also when you throw in hops as well that can do the same thing so yeah yeah, a bit of a PSA there, public service announcement. Don't turn your back on the boiler. Uh, but yeah, no harm done. So we will come back shortly. Okay, so brew day is done and dusted. There is the hydro sample there. So I've just got the wort um, cooling down before I pitch the old the SO4 yeast um, came out a little bit short on the gravity so I was aiming for about 105.4 and this has come out at 105.0 uh, so we're going to get a slightly lower ABV than the 5.4 that I was looking for but um, don't think it'll be the end of the world hopefully get around 5% instead uh, happy with the colour a nice dark brown colour which I think is sort of in keeping with the commercial colour. I'll just have a little bit of a taste, I'm really just checking for the bitterness. So aiming for around 30 IBUs and I think it's pretty close to that mark which is good. Uh, so yeah that's pretty much me done and dusted so in a couple of weeks I will do a tasting video and what I thought I'd do is um, I'll buy a can of the commercial uh, Fuller's London Porter and do a side by side I haven't done a side by side for a while and I thought it was probably a good chance to do that um, yeah just check out, check out the, how they stack up against each other and um, see what the differences are so yeah, I'll do that in a couple of weeks time if you're interested uh, any questions sing out and I'll put the uh, recipe um, description below in the, uh, under the video so check that out if you want to thanks for watching guys enjoy the rest of your day and the weekend coming up and catch you next time over and out cheers